Thanks again to our friends at Jets for providing us with a great breakfast on the Suburban Ford 7 Sports Cave that here. Was breakfast? <laughs> a pizza brunch. The Super Bowl stirs so many great memories, and you guys are sitting here with just a wealth of knowledge. Your, your first favorite memory of the Super Bowl, Maz? Oh, man, I remember like it was yesterday. It's Super Bowl V. It's the Cowboys and the Colts. And, and I just, I just, I don't know. I just couldn't wait to get home from church with my family to, to watch it. And I was rooting for the Cowboys. I don't know why, but I just was. How and can then, you? You gave me Leiden crap. You're like a, a Jersey guy rooting for the Cowboys. I was a kid, Mike. Okay. It, was, it was my first time. It was my first goal round. <laughs> so anyway, realized. the Colts wound up winning. You know, number eighty, Jim, Jim O'Brien hitting like a fifteen-yard field goal. Any of us could have hit that field goal, right. by the way. And a defensive player winning the uh, MVP. And and uh, who threw his the helmet? Was it Leroy Jordan? Was it who what, threw his helmet? The Cowboy threw his helmet across the field. Your favorite memory too, Tony. Well, I've seen them all, but my, I don't know, my favorite, the, I think the best Super Bowl was the one that was in Houston the last time. The Patriots and the, and the Panthers, where they had that fourth quarter that just was crazy. Amazing. Yeah, Jake back and forth, back was amazing. Forth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mike Foss just said earlier, the best Super Bowl that nobody remembers. You know, it's just another New England Super Bowl. Right. I, I remember uh, going over to my grandparents' house every single Super Bowl. We had pizza all the time, and I would decorate the helmets, the, 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 uh, the Cowboys and the Steelers. And I said to my grandma, how do you make these shiny? And she said, Let's take some scotch tape and make the helmet shiny. Oh. And then she taught me about how to handle money on Super Bowl Sunday. So valuable lessons from Grandma. Hey, Grandma. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, who do you got today? I'm taking Atlanta late, 34-31. No surprise. He loves the Patriots. That's right. I, I got New England by two. I think New England wins a close one. I, I think it's going to be an exciting game. I think it's going to be close. It. Both these offenses are right. high-powered, man. It's going to be fun to watch today. It's going to be great. It and should be great. It really should be great. Great. And we got to give Maz credit to Stoney for joining us for the first time on the show. Bringing the sweater update back with no sleeves. The sweater vest sweater update. Sweater vest update. Wow. That's, buddy. That's great. I love it. Jim Maz, Trussell great to have that, Stoney in the morning, 97.1. You can catch him weekdays and Maz on the Drew and Mike podcast. Guys, great to have you here. Enjoy Thanks, Super Bowl. Thanks for having me. Thanks, Brad. All right. We'll see you guys soon. Connect with us on Twitter all week. Thanks for joining us. I got better socks than you do.